is that is that uh that competition between uh Jay Z and DMX what sparked the Rough Riders Rockefeller uh back and forth? What the with the with the little Yeah, Kiss Beans and just the whole everybody battling. Well, right song with back. Jada and, and Ho. That's what I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> we got the source sitting right here. <laughs> that's, but that's where it started. We don't need Jazz right now. Hold on. Hold I, need on. To, I need to find out what, what, what it was from him. With, 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 with X and who? With, 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 with Jada Kiss and Beanie Siegel. The Jada how did, Kiss. How did all that start? Just a Rough Rider Rockefeller clash. I mean, we, we was always good with, with them. I think they got into it because it wasn't a Rough Rider, it wasn't a Rough Rider, a Rockefeller beef. Mm -hmm. It was more of a Jada and Beanie beef. You see, mm -hmm. the artist was beefing, not us. The label wasn't beefing. It was them. The, mm -hmm. the artist was beefing. Right. So they had a little misunderstanding. I forgot how it started, but they was going back and forth, taking shots at each other. Right. And um, that that's, that was going on for a little while. And what happened was, because it was about to get to that, it was getting ready to get out of hand. You know, somebody gonna get hurt eventually, because it was getting to that point. Right. So, you know, if you, if you, you know, beans and them from Philly, and you know, Philly, they kind of like, they go there. Yeah. Like they, they come from that. Like they mental is a little <laughs> different, because you know, I lived in both places. So they, they gonna go there eventually. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what, we gotta, we gotta try to squash this beef so it don't escalate because it's gonna go to the guns 1,000%. Because they just, when Philly niggas, they kind of aggressive on the ignorant. They don't even think, they be like, it, it was the, depending on who caught who at the right, right place. Right. But what happened was, the good part is that I called my barber and I was, I was in the house one day and he was like, D, what's up? I was like, what's up? He was like, um, Beans and them is in the park. They was over here. And I was like, where they at? He was like, over, oh, are they right up here on um, River, River Bank? It was at River Bank. And I was like, all right, I'll be right there. Because I'm, I'm from Philly too, because my grandma was there, so I know a couple of the guys that run with them. So I shot to the park. I went down there to talk to Beans, and uh, Sadiq was with him. So him and Sadiq, and he was managing them, I guess, at the time. I said, like, you know, we're just trying to make sure this don't escalate. And Kiss wasn't there yet. So I was like, all right, hold on, wait a minute. So I called Kiss. He said, yo, where you at? He said, I'm in the crib. I said, all right, jump in the cab, come to the park right quick. He jump in the cab, he come to the park. So I tell him, look, we're going to go in here, deal with this. So, you know, uh, try to squash this so it don't escalate. Because if it depends on who catch who, where they catch. So they would have caught him over there, it would have probably been different. Because right. they don't think. You know, we thinking, they ain't thinking. Right. So they went over there. They talked a little bit over there in the corner. They... They kind of reserved it and resolved it and shook hands and, and um, they squashed it and left it alone, you know, because at that point, it ain't no longer they beef, it's our beef now, because you said you wasn't going to do nothing and you caught them over there and you did something other than what you said right. when we could have did what we wanted to do while we got you right here. Mm -hmm. right. So we let you go and you can't do, now you catch them over there in Philly, you can't do that. You do that, then that's a different beef. Right. You know, we kept it 100 with you. And that's the way you got to keep it. So they kept it 100 and it was, you know, I think Bean said that on an interview not too long ago, that, that we had that situation, but we was able to resolve it so it don't escalate, so it was cool. Freeway spoke on it when he was yeah. here. Freeway spoke on it. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, he said the exact same thing. Wait, huh? Styles spoke huh? on it too. Huh? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm From glad that was resolved though. That, were you enjoying it? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that was D, were you enjoying it in the meanwhile? Was it like a battle for you or you no. were like, what's what, what's going on here? How does this even start? I, I, I don't even, you know, I don't even like beef like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd rather it just be what you are because for me, yeah, I raised all of them. I watched them come up so I know ain't nobody shooting. You ain't busting your gun. You ain't no shooter. All around you can say whatever it is. That's not what it is. But it sounds good. So go ahead, get your money, do what you do. Now, it's a different from rhyming and living it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you see us getting ready to get to the gun part, you got to come in and intercept so it don't get to that. Mm -hmm. And shut it down quick because I know you're not a shooter and I know you're not a shooter. You might have one or two with you, 
but you're not a shooter. I tell them, I tell them all the time, I say, you know what? Give me 10 rappers, run all their records, and they probably all got clean records. Because they're not from that. They just put the words together. They don't go to jail until after they get the deals. <laughs> <laughs> True story, bro. Which is re fucking ridiculous. That's a fact. <laughs> They backwards. Oh, they get. They go to jail after. <laughs> after. <laughs> that don't make no sense. This crazy. You made it. You made it. You got money. You're good. And now you go to jail and you get 25 years after you made it out of the, the, the hardest part of your life. Right. Because they're trying to portray the image of the people in the street that they seen when they was growing up. Right. So they want to be that to a degree. You know, no that's, matter how much that's money you get. Yeah, you know, they go back to the neighborhood. You know, I'm. I'm and you know, people in the hood, they just know you for who you are. I grew up with you. Mm -hmm. You know, went to school with you. I know you was never none of that. I don't know nothing about what you're talking about. Now, I'm just telling you, I used to beat you up all the time, take your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Remember me? I'm like, I'm okay, how many security guards you got? I'm just telling you what I used to do to you. Right. <laughs> so you got to be real to a degree, but, but then yeah. they start living a, um, a fantasy world. Yeah. They start believing they something they not. And they go buy a gun and they think they they want to be that guy that was on the that that really lived that life and got a hundred years they try to live his life indirectly when they should just go that way yeah keep going that way yeah just go that way you made it past that don't backtrack and now you get caught up with a gun now they go to they always go to gun go to jail getting caught with a gun because they want to be like them no, because in their hearts, in their heads, they're still the kid who used to get beat up for their lunch money. There you go. And they don't want to get beat up for their lunch money anymore. Mm -hmm. And now they got so much more lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> so lunch money for, much, for everybody. So much more yeah, lunch yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, yeah. guys like you are still walking around out there who used to beat them up and take their lunch money. Yeah. Now, they don't know that you stopped taking people's lunch money. Yeah. They don't know that you stopped that. They just know that... That was the rough part. They don't, they don't want to go do that. It's just not going to take my lunch money no more. Yeah, so yeah. next time you try, it's going to be different. Yeah, I'm, I'm big I'm big now. I got yeah. a gun now. I'm, 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 I'm somebody. Yeah, now we can fight and it's going to yeah. be a little more even. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. stop it taking people's lunch yeah, money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't take their lunch money. You know, what, 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 for me, with my people, it's like I'm more of a giver. Like my job is to, to give and help, period. Like I always that. give. Like I've been doing that since I was little. So the more I get, the more I give. That's just how I, that's my motto. Right. If I can help somebody, I'm gonna do it. I don't even gotta know them. And that's what you're supposed to do. You know, you gotta know that um, God bless you enough to be able to give. Does your giving nature backfire when it comes to business? The music industry is not really a great place when it comes to being a giver. And you've been in, you've been in situations with your own artists yeah. where the business deals have gone left for, for your guy specifically. Do you attribute that to your given nature? I, I, would, I would assume, just clear it up, I would assume that somebody who has a given nature is used to coming to the table with the best of intentions. 100%. I, I'm going to do business. Uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my best foot forward. I'm going to do good business with you. I'm going to shake your hand. My, my, you know, it doesn't take paperwork. I'm going to trust you to do what you say you're going to do because I'm going to do what, I'm, what I say I'm going right. to do. Right. So when you, come to the, when you come to the table like that, there are people who take advantage. Your artist specifically, you dealt with, not, not, not just in business, but also in personal life. Do you think maybe being a giver has been to your detriment? I mean, it, I could say for some people, it probably... Depending on the deal, you know, and how it's set up and structured, it, it, it could be like you probably took less when you should have took more, mm -hmm. or you deserve more. Because let me tell you about artists when you really, really work a project, and, and, and I heard what you said. And artists don't give a fuck, <laughs> technically. Like they, they for self, right? Until they get to a certain point, and they might think about it later, but. You got to remember, you're dealing with a bunch of kids that come from minority areas, hungry, poor. They don't know. So when they get over there and the white man pull them in that room and tell them, look, this is what you do, this is what you got, blah, blah, blah. and they don't know. So they they know you, so they're probably going to listen to him. 
And that's where the tug of war comes now, you know, mm. because they listening to him. And you've been with him 10 years. He only talked to him for eight months. Mm. So he can start getting in their brain and making things swerve a little. That's why no matter what you do, no matter what you put your time into and spend your money for that you might never get back because not everybody going to make it, you got to have it on your contract, period. If you don't got paperwork, you're wasting your time. So where, where was that thought process? And I'm, I'm going to be blunt here. The, the locks wanting to get off of bad boy, complaining about their deal. You're their management. So it would, it would, it would seem to be that you oversaw that deal and you were okay with it when you saw it. But here they are beefing about it. Did Angry. you see the deal? Yeah, I, 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 did I would you assume you deal? did. No, you know what? I didn't handle the the the, 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 the deals. And I did the music. I focus on music. Strictly. I see. I see. I don't. I see. Paperwork lawyers, y'all do that. So 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 what happened was, you have to know what position to take. Which is the most important position when you want to do music, and I don't know nothing about music technically at this point when I'm coming in. So I pull Puff to the side. And I was like. You know, he was doing big, and I was doing that. I was working with him with Mason a lot. And I was like, you know, if I had to take a position in this music industry, what would be a good position to take? And he was like, you know what? He was at the board. Matter of fact, we was on 44th Street in the studio. He was like, if, if, if I was you, I would learn how to do the music. And I was like, okay, got it. And, and that's where you become valuable because... The artists connect with you and them is a chemistry that helps them become a star. They're not a star because they just walk in. You have, to, you have to make the right records, you have to have the right image, and you have to know how to work the project. You know what I'm saying? They in the booth, we out here, our ears is clearer than theirs. You gotta tell them do that over 10 times. Say that over, you gotta do it again, you gotta do it again, you gotta do it again. And, and that, that, I remember, I, I, I probably had Styles in the booth one time. He was getting frustrated. He was like, all right, I don't want to do this no more. I'm not rapping no more. <laughs> you know, because he, he's just getting frustrated, but then he get mad. He go back and do it again. But that's what it takes sometimes. And that's just for one song. Mm -hmm. All night. Might not get it that night. Got to come back the next day and do it again. Because it's, it's just sometimes it's like that. Right. So it, 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 it's, it's a lot to do with your team. Very important. There's not no one man can do it. It's just, it's impossible for one man to do it. It doesn't work. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.